Okay. Clean drinking vessel. Do all my own editing. Whatever you do, don't put this beer with a salmon. Fuck it. <laughs> don't know. Morning, beer geeks. Nitch here. Um, it's just about friggin' time for like this to happen. I, um, as you may know from watching any of these other videos, I have an obsession with coconut anyway, but coconut and beer specifically, which I think um, stems from me having lived in Hawaii and generally just being, you know, a little nutty myself. Um, I've been obsessed with Maui coconut porter for a really long time. I would say this is actually one of my like gateway craft beers. It was probably one of the first ones that I just was obsessed with, and that was delicious forever. And then Ryan made this coconut IPA. He won a home brewing contest with uh, Stone Brewing, and um, I had a clone beer from, what's his name? Who the fuck made that clone beer? Uh, for me and sent it over, and that was um, absolutely a blessing because it's a beer I wanted so bad. Uh, basically anything with coconuts, I have been obsessed with, uh, and I live in Paris, France, so getting this beer is not easy. But coincidentally, now... Everything they do is uh, consistently delicious in general. So apparently they had this guy going on, um, a coconut Irish porter. They did it in collaboration with some other people. You can check infos down in whatever that is, comment thing. And the um, details I don't really care because I'm drooling. I just want to drink the beer. So this has came pretty far, far away, right? Um, which isn't always good for beer. It's really beer doesn't love to travel, but the porter style. <laughs> this is so good. It just has little light milky notes with just a soft toasted coconut. And you and you do pick up coconut and a little bit of chocolate uh, right off the bat, right off the immediate notes. We need to go through the color. Like I think you guys, this is a video. I didn't need to tell you what color it is, right? So this is actually a little bit more kind of bitter. I don't know if it needs to open up a second or it's just been like jostled around a whole bunch. Um, it's definitely subtle. You you don't get any kind of notes of like sunblock or anything. Don't be frightened that that will happen. With the Molly Coconut Porter, what I like to do is, um, because it is an Irish stout, like you put it with a um, like an Irish stew or some kind of a caramelized meat, like a pork dish, which is cool. And then the coconuts just complement that. I think a little bit on top. This, on the other hand, the Death by Coconut, uh, that's like a whole nother game. A brisk morning wake up. Okay, so the difference between the Death by Coconut and the Molly Coconut Porter is this immediately comes at you with coconut. Molly Coconut Porter is way more subtle. Um, definitely more of kind of a roasted note to it. And this is, is immediately toasted coconut. No doubt about it. I'm going to spill things all over my bed. Here is it actually available in France either. My friend Tom brought it over and uh, you can see that video over here. Um, I don't actually trade sexual favors for beer. <laughs> Just seriously delicious. Honestly, that little sip right there, it tastes a little bit like root beer. Mm. Yep, heaps of toasted coconut. It definitely is just way more coconut presence, uh, not heavy. It's not like a milky stout kind of deal, but again, not super sweet. Uh, if I was pairing this with something uh, I think it would really kind of be fun to actually pair it with a dessert so like a maybe a banana bread or even like a like exotic fruit salad something with a pineapple in it you could throw that in there maybe like a curry if you had like a spicy curry and you threw this guy on there that could be fun or you could just drink it like that was fun. listeners readers watchers however it is you're getting this in your face Oh god, I don't know if I want to pick favorites. I like both beers, beers equally. But if you have a favorite, please comment below. Let me know. I'd like to hear about it and probably argue with you. Mm. So, really, in my opinion, if you can get a hold of either one, then you absolutely should because they're both delicious uh, for completely different reasons. And uh, I think this trend in making coconut beers is fantastic, and I can't wait to see more of it. 
thank you guys for watching um merci et bientôt au revoir